Hey, what's going on guys? Butterbar here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. So, I was at the fire station and yet again. Uh, I feel like anytime I go to work, I feel like information about the Division 2 is always getting released. And Ubisoft yet again did their state of the game uh, live stream. And I have to say, we actually got a lot of just promising content in our future. We are actually getting a brand new update to the game going live on April 5th, which is actually bringing us the title Basin Stronghold as well as World Tier 5 and also we're getting some gear sets introduced into Division 2 for next week. I am super excited. I cannot wait to actually get to play this and uh, and unlock some of the gear sets. I, I will tell you right now, ever since you know playing this game, getting to World Tier 4, you are just on the grind to find stuff that helps you out, that stuff that you enjoy playing. I love playing as a skill build uh, type of character, trying to provide aid to my teammates and to actually hear of some of the gear sets that are going to be released for next week when World Tier 5 gets a release to us. I'm really excited about the gear sets that uh, we'll get to experiment with. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to talk about that later on in the video. But first, I want to get to some of the update, the patch update that we actually got uh, this morning. So if you guys don't know yet, if you haven't logged into Division 2, there was an actual patch update to the game that fixed a lot of things uh, when it comes to different glitches and bugs and, and kind of fine-tuning the game that some of us have been having to deal with uh, while playing the game. One of the biggest things that I think, I'll go and just go into this first. One of the biggest gripes that I had uh, in this game was, you know, trying to dismantle different mods. I don't know if you, if anybody was like me, trying to dismantle mods was just a task. I don't know what it was, but I think it was just, you know, one of the bugs that they actually had to fix where you'd actually try to delete something and then the, then the mod selection screen would be really buggy. So that has been fixed. I'm super excited about that because out of anything that they've actually fixed in this patch update, that was one of the things that was bugging me the most. So, really happy to see that the mod um, selection screen was actually changed. Alright, so let's get into the, a couple other things. Performance wise, they've said that they've actually were able to fix some of the things where, you know, people were getting frame drops, so that's one thing that they kind of looked into. Clans, uh, and this is one thing that was bugging me, at least when it came to the PvP side of the Division 2, was you know, people showing up, uh, and as a clan member, they were showing up as yellow that has been changed as well I actually don't know to recording this video I don't know what they've actually changed that color yet uh, but uh, just to let you guys know that color has been changed so if you are a part of a clan you're playing with other clan members you are going to see that has been changed to a different color uh, they have fixed some issues where clan XP was not being contributed to the overall clan experience I think that's one thing that I've noticed I've been I've been playing a lot of this game playing a lot of missions playing a lot of Dark Zone and I think I've noticed a little bit that some of the XP that I have gained in this game was not being counted towards my clan. So that has been fixed. I look forward to actually seeing that I can actually contribute a lot more to uh, the XP to my clan and actually work up the ranks of the different things you can actually unlock in this game with being a part of a clan. Uh, for skill wise, um, some skills were acting abnormal. They've changed some of that to where you know you, you will see less often where you actually drop a skill and it actually just gets uh, bugged down and it gets uh, you know you get like a 15 second timer before you use it they've kind of toned that down now so hopefully that will not be happening as often as it's been happening i really haven't been noticing too much but now that they've fixed it hopefully it'll be one thing where you know people are not running into it as often as they used to uh fix an issue where multiple uh, multiple cluster seeker mines would uh could be deployed in a short uh session uh, i don't i really don't use the i mean sometimes i use the cluster uh, mines, I, but one of the biggest things for me is the mods. Again, I think one of the things that they've kind of talked about in the next update for April 5th is that they're going to be hopefully making some changes to mods where mods do not take so many uh, 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 skill or whatever to actually be able to use some of the mods. I think that is the one thing that's been kind of a gripe for me is that they have so many mods in this game where you can't even use because your skill is not uh, high enough. So, for some people that might have been having this problem with cluster seeker mines being deployed in short durations, I mean hopefully that's been fixed hopefully that's if you're somebody that uses that cluster mine uh thing hopefully it's been fixed for you for me i really have not really seen too much of a bother for me uh a couple of gameplay fixes mostly with you know again for players that are people playing online or offline um they've fixed again daily and weekly missions not resetting so if you are somebody that plays offline that has been fixed for you co-op health scaling again I, I, wanna, I was one of those players that noticed it in the very beginning of you know playing this game you are you are get, definitely getting 
getting hammered by the uh, the AI when you're playing with somebody that's a lot uh, higher in rank than you are. Um, but that has been scaled down again. So hopefully, you know, it'll not only look at your rank, but also your armor as well to where the AI will not be uh, so, so much of a bother to you to where it's just completely bothering your experience as somebody that's a low ranking wanting to play with your friends and they might be, you know, a couple of levels higher than you. So a couple other changes, open world, you know, there's some uh, issues that they fixed. I'm not really going to go into great detail of it because it's really minor stuff. Uh, but do look forward to, you know, I'm going to be posting this link uh, to the patch notes so you guys can actually see some of the changes that they've made to the game. All right, now let's get into the one thing that I'm super excited about. So, ah, uh, man, we're getting World Tier 5 next week. We are getting World Tier 5. We are getting Title Basin. We're getting gear sets. And, dude, man, this is going to be awesome. Next week, next Friday, is going to be an exciting time to play The Division 2 because this is our first free content in the game. Yeah, it's already, you know, it's already, Title Basin is already part of the game, but we're also, we're getting, you know, content added to the game, which, again, is going to make playability of this game a lot more enjoyable, a lot more long-term. Um, and it's going to definitely, again, Division is one of those games where I can get home from work, uh, grind my butt off, have a fun time, always kind of, you know, finding new guns that I really enjoy using, new guns that I, you know, the most powerful, new gear that's a powerful that work with the different sets of gear that I have. It's always a fun time to get on here and grind it, and it, I really do look forward to next week. So Friday, um, April 5th, we are getting Black Tusk. Um, the, we're getting the Black Tusk Stronghold of Tidal Basin. So if you are one of those players that have gotten to World Tier 4, you will see at the south end corner of your map that Tidal Basin is one of those games or one of those strongholds that you have not been able to play yet because it's not unlocked for us so that is going to be unlocked for us on friday once you complete the title basin that will unlock world tier 5 and that also unlocks some of the gear sets there are three gear sets in this game only one of them we've actually seen true patriot is one of those um gear sets that we've seen it works similar to i think it was century i think what i think that's the one that was called back in uh, in the division one where you know you, uh, you get so many headshots on a target and you know more headshots you get on a target the more damage that uh that AI, that enemy player takes over, uh, you know, the period of time that people players are shooting them. So that's going to make it a lot easier, at least when it comes to challenging missions. And then they're also adding on heroic missions to the uh, the game. So now not only are we going to have hard, we're going to have challenging, we're now going to have heroic. And from what has been described from the developers is that we're, or, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the heroic missions are something that players are just going to be wanting to stay. It's an act of cruelty is from what they're saying from the developers. So an act of cruelty in the division. I'll tell you right now, you know, I, I'm, I'm, at, I'm pushing, you know, over 200 plus K armor in this game. And I get dropped sometimes instantly. So I don't know if, if, <laughs> if the, the, the difference between challenging to heroic is going to be a big change from what I'm experiencing right now. But if it is, if heroic is just uh, if 200k armor is not enough to withstand you know some of the challenging missions in this game uh, or hell even some of the hard, the hard motion hard mo missions in this game i cannot i cannot uh, i don't know i can't fathom what a heroic mission is gonna be with having so much armor and then just getting dropped immediately so yes we are getting title basin on friday we are getting gear sets on friday we are getting uh, heroic mode on uh, on Friday as well and one of the other things that they are adding as well is now they are having invaded missions on more of the missions in this game I know for most of us that are at world tier 4 uh, we don't really have too many invaded missions or any at all going on right now there's not really that war that's kind of going on in DC that we uh, we were expecting once we got to this stage in the game so hopefully with the update for next week not only is that going to be bringing more invaded missions so where you can actually um, when you go to select a mission where you want to replay a mission you can actually select it between you know the story mode or an invaded mission so I think that's a really cool thing again another thing that's going to make it uh, make replayability of this game um, essential for you know different changes to not only missions but gear and weapons and now new uh, new stronghold so this is going to be a very exciting time for us division players and I, I really do look forward to Friday again I've been falling in love with the division 2 I think it's one of those games that I can really have a lot of fun and look forward to coming home and and having a good time and uh, and just grinding out grinding it out not only with my friends but also to uh, you know you guys as well you guys are that are joining the clan and having a fun time so guys uh, again I wanted to let you guys know about the update I want to let you know about the uh, the division 2's update for Friday 
on April 5th, we are going to be getting a lot of new content, a lot of new ways to grind out gear, and new ways to optimize and get the perfect set of gear. But again, I'm super excited. I would love to know from you guys, what are you guys excited about? Do you love the patch update that they've just released to this game um, that have made some different updates, some quality of life changes that have helped us out? As players navigate the game, I would love to know in the comments below what do you guys think about the update. What do you guys, uh, what do you guys look forward to with the new update that we're getting on Friday, April fifth? Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please drop me a like. Again, let me know in the comments below what you think. Have a great rest of the day, and I will see you guys all next time.